it's that time again. We have a slight issue. Uh, sometimes the car plays up, sometimes it's fine, sometimes it's excellent, then suddenly it's um, misbehaving. And I believe it's this, the crank position sensor. So uh, I'm gonna try to uh, replace it. Didn't plan to, but I'm on my brothers, and we're together, and he's quite good with his subs. So I think he can kind of show me how it's done. I'm gonna have a try anyway, and learn from practice. But it's always good to get expertise with someone who knows how it's done. My sister-in-law made me a nice cover, so uh, don't discriminate. Okay, nothing wrong with pink. And um, yeah, just waiting for my brother really. He's gonna check the Saab system, work out what needs to be done, how it's to be done. I know you need a T30 torque screw, um, and it's just, how do you get there safely without having to jack the vehicle up? I'm trying to do things in the most precautious way as possible to minimize any injuries, risk to damage to the vehicle or myself. But the biggest issue has been so far, the wiring. It's so fiddly, but I managed to uh, take it off. It was a right fiddle somewhere here. You have to use a screwdriver, release this. And I think um, that little thing, let me show you. Hope you can see that little thing. It's somewhere there. Let me take a, oh, is that better? That's even worse. In summer position, the cam, so it's possible to view. Oh good, it's like there. I've got a metal pipe here, that's a water pipe. That's a um, pre-cat um, lumbar sensor. That's another one. There it is that little thing there. If I go underneath, I think it'd be easier, but it's just so difficult trying to go underneath right now. Let's give it a try. Where can you see somewhere there? There it is. Just even that's difficult. Not much ground clearance, so I think I'm gonna have to jack the vehicle up, which I didn't want to do. I was hoping to do it from above here. Uh, according to my brother. He's checked there. What did you check, Johnny? WIS. WIS? Yeah. Couldn't WIS, you could do it from the top. So uh, we're gonna give it a try. I like the whole element of surprise when you just go for it and learn by yourself. Let's check. It's located, oh God, I can't put my hands on it. Don't you see my hands? There it is. Oh no, you can't see, it's too dark. Right there. So I'm gonna go. I need to go underneath. But look, look what, look what happened. I don't think you can see it. That. Ah, oh, shit. Something got my eye. Oh shit, something got my eye. I said shit, shit. Let's see if I could. Oh god. Got it out. Boom. All right, let's go back up. I'll tell you why. So it's come off. To get original. Let's see the difference. So what does that mean? One's a genuine, and one's a copy part. One's a Bosch, so maybe I should have bought the Bosch. But the Bosch was like fifty pounds, where the copy part was twenty quid. But if it solves a problem. Which I reckon the problem now was friggin' lumbar sensor. What do you think, John? Yeah, it wouldn't stop from starting. How do we know if it's faulty? You can't. So do I keep it as a spare? What do you think, John? Then we'll just go back in, mate, see how it goes. Let's have a look. Wait, wait, wait. Take it easy. You need to nurture this moment. You need to embrace and show people of YouTube that you can do this. You don't need to go to a garage or scrap the car. It's simple. Look at us two cowboys, we just did it. I was more bothered about pictures and videos, but my brother done it, but nonetheless, we done it because I aided him in some shape or form. So uh, back to doing it again, Z. Let me see. Uh, one minute, dude. I don't know. If 
Think I'm going to cross eyed. Got someone in my eye. Right, right, I'll put it in there. You got it, John? Don't forget the shield. Push that bad boy in. Does it feel like a glove? No. It doesn't? No. I think you need to push fit in so it's a complete seal. What, screw it in you mean? Yeah. Oh, cause that's awesome. Let me get some WD-40. Why do you need WD-40? Sew the ring man. Or move the ring up so it goes in nice. Mm. Just trying to get in there and have a good butcher's because it's so hard to see. There it is. That's where, that's where it belongs. And you can see where my lumbar center should have been. Oh. Ow. Yeah. I don't want any. So that's what you need, a T30. We use this tool, uh, that's the extension, don't need that, we're going to use this one with a T30, don't need Hold up! Something tells me there was nothing wrong with this one. Doesn't look too bad, other than the dirt, and it's a boosh. Alright, let's go back under. Oopsie. Can you see, John? You know where you are? Yep. I think I should stop filming and help you. It's not going in there. What? It's still. I know, it's difficult, isn't it? I can't see anything. I can't see doozy too. Ah! Sorry. That slipped. Okay. Warm it, Johnny. Look, now the nut's gone. Someone singing a song about equality. Oh. Hashtag Black Life Matters. Now this is too difficult. I think I'm gonna have to stop the recording. Let's take a zoom in. Nah, still nothing. There's none there. Mm, Johnny. It's hard to um I can't see bloody So what we did we put the O ring in and now we're gonna slide the the thing in. Cause at the moment the O ring's providing a lot of issues. Try to put it in straight, John. Yeah, try, bro, try. I think it's a lot easier going underneath the vehicle when the car's ramped up because it's extremely difficult doing it like this. Should I check if the ring's still there? It's still there, I can see it. Bring it home Johnny, nice and slow man. Give a little shimmy, a little shimmy, a little shimmy. There's a lot of resistance. Yeah man. Good news it's still there though, not going anywhere. Alright. Alright, so the problem is that O-ring is giving us problems. So I need to sit in this place and push it in. But it keeps rolling back. So, uh, I need a break. What I didn't realise were the two bloody bolts missing. So I'm not happy. And the lambda sensor. This is the post cat from the first cat because this car's got two cats. Um, and that needs a good clean. 
and the washer's missing. I don't know why people buy cars and not spend money where they'd require. If not money, attention it really bugs me. That's how these classics just waste away. <sighs> I don't think this was the issue, to be fair. I don't think it ever was that. It was always... the lambda sensor. So I'm going to use some of this to clean that I'm really working on it give it a good clean make it nice and shiny get rid of all the soot and doo doo and then put it back in well it's been really painful replacing this so what happened is this bolt ended up in the lambda sensor I'll show you quickly the lambda sensor belongs in here. So my brother was trying to bolt that down. The bolt came off, rolled in, went into there, and somehow went underneath, got somewhere stuck here. So we've got magnets, or whatever these are called, these bad boys. Allocated it by doing that, put it there, then used a smaller one like so, put it underneath, put it inside it and caught it and now you can see it's all well it's been emotional, very emotional I think I need a, uh, a cup of tea and some biscuits luckily uh, got it all done got the lumbar sensor in I tied it to um, my own specs didn't follow the factory specs because there's a washer missing and there's no shops open now someone ordered the washer and once it arrives I will do it I'm cautious of having other people's face and cam so I'm just trying to move away from them so uh, otherwise it's, it's been successful done the swap of the crankshaft sensor found out there's some missing bolts I need to um, do those so um, it's been uh, quite a um, positive outcome as um, this guy said Joe cool stay cool